tonight the new threat facing our children. No, it's not ice or marijuana, it's semen, 1800 semen. That's right, bawdy, immoral, unethical 19th century semen are now recruiting our children one by one. And they're doing it online, by this step there, via the sinister medium of song. I'm talking about sea shanties. Sea shanties were originally sung by fishermen and sailors, and they became increasingly popular in the 1800s. The tunes were set to match the tasks of daily activities and heavy labour performed on the ships while they were at sea. But now they've made a baffling and terrifying return. This is Nathan Evans, a 26-year-old postman and musician from Scotland, who uploaded this video of himself singing the sea shanty, Soon May the Wellerman Come. There once was a ship that put to sea, the name of the ship was a belly of tea. What the happened next was truly frightening. Sorry. We talked about this. The video went viral. Viral. And we'll viral. put like an echoey thing on viral. Yeah, cool. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Thousands decided to join in using TikTok's duet feature, which allows you to sing along with complete strangers like famous Muppets Kermit the Frog and Andrew Lloyd Webber. But it didn't end there. Nathan was featured in the New York Times, the BBC, and this text message from my friend Paul. The global media continued to fan the flames of the one true virus threatening the world, shanty fever. What do you think it is about this music that's got people so excited? The pandemic's just got everybody in a bit of a downer, so I think this kind of boosts everybody's spirits. Something just didn't make sense. Singing songs to raise people's spirits? It was all very suspicious. But could it be, in a time of online trolls, isolation, and people online calling me a <laughs> who could beat my mother, but had quite a nice set of lips. Were young people online being nice? Did one TikTok shanty provide thousands with a sense of community? Is there a shanty powerful enough to unite a country as divided as Australia? Working hard to make a living, bringing shelter from the rain. A father's son left to carry on, Luke Denham in his veins. Oh, he's a working class man, believes in God knows and he gets up when he can. He did his time in Vietnam, so mad at Uncle Sam. He's a simple man with a hard goal in a complicated land. Oh, he's a working class man, he's a working class man. Seeing Jimmy Barnes and his merry band of scurvy-ridden singers made me think. Maybe Nathan the Postman was onto something. Maybe the internet is an ocean. Maybe shanties are our ship. And maybe we're all just seamen looking for a home.